and Jaws Pinball. Y'all just... <laughs> People running out of ideas, I guess. Hey everybody, it's George Gomez at Stern Pinball. And what you see right here is the beginning of Stern Pinball Shark Week. This cool, is the cool. Jaws game you've always wanted. It's got absolute. How do you Over make. On the right side, we have the horizontal spinner. So this shit for old heads, I know. I know. It simulates you reeling in your bounty shark. Who's really there fucking with pinball so anymore? The Get this shit out of here. Uh, I'm actually genuinely interested in the Switch too. I might pick one up. Possibly 400. At that point, should you just get a Steam Deck? A Steam Deck's like 500, I think. 600. What's up, everybody? Damon here, and in today's gaming news. And I know this shit ain't gonna be able to play like any of the newer games coming out. Cause just think about the Switch One. Like motherfuckers can't even play uh, the Zelda game, cause that shit's tearing. I mean, this might be able to play that Zelda game at like 30 maybe 60 but then what about games that come out in like a year or two nintendo's so fucking far behind this shit should have been out like two years ago analysts believe this is finally the year for switch 2 and sony believes this is the year for two konami remakes this is your daily fix <laughs> The Nintendo Switch 2 seems likely to be released this year, but when and how much will it cost us? These are the questions on the minds of Nintendo fans as 2024 gets underway. If industry analysts are to be believed, the Switch successor should be out later this year with a price point of $400. Offering his 2024 predictions to GamesIndustry.biz, Dr. Serkin Toto, a Canton Games analyst noted for being a Nintendo expert, said he believes that the Switch 2 will be out this year. Toto wrote, the time is finally here for a Switch successor. I believe the next hardware will drop in 2024 for $400. There's a high chance that games will cost more too. $70. The next system is also likely to be hell? an iteration rather than a revolution. Nintendo might add. Alright, so they're just trying to copy fucking uh, PlayStation Xbox. They have a good reason. Them motherfuckers, they're using actual current, I wouldn't say like, I, somewhat current tech to build their games. Their games are costing way more. Actually, let me not spew false information. Let's see. Uh,. Develop. Uh, was it um is it breath of the wild or is it tears of the kingdom tears of the kingdom um 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 These motherfuckers don't want to release how much it costs. I guess not. Oh well, so never mind my point. I was gonna see how much it costs to make a a Switch game, whereas compared to a fucking See how much it took to make Alan Wake 2. Uh, right there. 50 million. That's not cheap. That's definitely worth a $70 game. I wish we knew how much it'd take. But yeah, whatever. You get the gist. I think that's my point right there is that they can justify the $70 price tag because look at the games they're putting out compared to fucking uh, Tears of the Kingdom, you know? Motherfuckers quit that game because they physically couldn't play it. The console just couldn't keep up. Now, why am I going to go pay $70 for a game that I can't even play how it was intended to play when I can just... <sighs> I don't know, man. This should look... It's like corporate greed to me, but it's Nintendo. So you motherfuckers are still gonna buy it. Add some bells and whistles to the device, but it will be similar to the current Switch. And because there that is Pokemon, doing shit and Pokemon is associated with handheld gaming, there is no way on earth Nintendo will drop the portability feature for their next big thing. 
And peer analysis analyst Piers Harding Rolls also weighed in with his own predictions, saying that he expects the console market to be up marginally, aided by, quote, the launch of a next gen Nintendo console, more than likely a switch to towards the end of the year. Toto and Harding Rolls' predictions lend further weight to the persistent belief that the follow up to the seven year old Nintendo Switch is near. The Switch 2 has been heavily rumored since last year, when a demo meant to reflect the platform's expected. Seven years, guys. For y'all that don't know, Tech is considered out of date every five years. That's how quickly, you know, technology advances. Meaning they, like I said, they should have put this shit out two years ago. They waited. They're so fucking behind. <laughs> this is crazy. Did hardware capabilities was reportedly shown to developers at Gamescom in August. If the Switch 2 is indeed an iteration rather than a revolution, it will seemingly be closer to the Nintendo 3DS, which built on the success of the DS mm -hmm. with improved hardware and a 3D screen, among other additions. Although I wouldn't expect Switch 2 to have 3D capabilities. The main question is whether or not it will be backwards compatible, which is one of the major requests from Nintendo fans. In the meantime, Watch the Switch continues be. to chug along with a so Paper Mario Thousand Year Door HD remaster, again. a remake of Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and a new Princess Peach game among the releases on the docket. Okay, Moving on, here. two highly anticipated Konami remakes may have just received a release window. PlayStation listed them both on its website as 2024 games. We both saw Metal Gear Solid 3 Song Delta Hill. and the Silent Hill 2 remake are among a slate of big 2024 games coming to PS5 that right. Sony has highlighted to- That's good enough for me. Basically, Nintendo's finna fuck y'all and y'all's just gonna be okay with it. Um, what about Tales of Iron? If you ever want to be in fucking New York City rat, this looks like the game for you. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. The king of the, the rats. Crown king of the rats. Of a kingdom still reeling from war. But while new him. alliances bring cause for celebration, so too do they deliver new foes from afar. If you ever wanted to be uh go to New York City, this is what it's like. Just know. Turn the corner, you're gonna see a fucking Samurai rat. Who's that? And a bard rat. <laughs> the scourge of bright fur forest has begun. And you, my liege, are once again the kingdom's only hope. Explore a fungi ridden forest realm. Lead battle against a new ferocious adversary. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with this game. Um. Available now, okay. okay. How much is it? How much is it? Uh, is it Tales of Iron? Let's see. Let me, let me guys, let me get you guys over. God damn <laughs> that shit loud as hell. My bad, guys. Heavy is the very positive reviews. Ninety-one percent. Um. This shit released in 2021? Um, oh, expansion. Okay. I'm stupid. I can't read. Um, looks like it's $27. And you free. Oh, never mind. It's free. So get the game. Get it for free. It looks good. Very positive reviews. Let me know if I should if I should fuck with this game. It looks cool. Who wouldn't want to be a New York City rat? And stand fast against the ever. All right. Let me get off that. Um. 